Hey everybody, this is Adam back with a brand new Excel video tutorial. And today we're going to be learning a little bit more about string manipulation and specifically about uh, manipulation with phone numbers. So in this uh, spreadsheet, I have 10 phone numbers that I pulled off a customer list, for example. And I want to do some analysis with it, except I need it to be in a workable format that I can use. So I have two tips and tricks that will be able to change the format of the raw data into a format that is maybe more accessible to what you're comfortable with. So the first thing or the first um, tip I have is the text to columns um, feature in Excel. So let's just say I wanted to kind of do an analysis on the first three digits of every phone number. An easy way of separating the, fir the first three digits from the phone number is using the text to columns feature. So I'm going to select all my data. I'm going to go to the data ribbon, text to columns, and I'm going to make sure it's on delimited. And what delimited means is that there is a character within each cell that I can say I want the text to kind of stop and begin at. So I'm going to make sure it's delimited. And make sure your delimiter, or in my case, this dash that's in between the numbers that I want to um, chop up the phone number with is selected. And your, in your data preview, it should show that everything is kind of working. It's in three, three groups, which is what I want. Go next. Um, by default, the destination for the output is on the cell that you actually selected the data of. So it would actually overwrite um, my data. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to select a new cell. And I'm going to press finish, clear the prompts. And there you go. So other than that little one-off issue, um, the raw data is now into three groups that I'm able to use, do a clear and insightful analysis with, hopefully. Um, the second function, or the second tip I have, is kind of removing certain characters from uh, data or from cells. So for, so for example, in this case, I only want, let's just say, the 10 numbers in a phone number. So with my raw data, I have the dashes. I'm only looking for the numbers in the cell. An easy way to do this is using the built-in substitute function within Excel. And so what that basically is, is kind of like a find and replace in any word processor that you've used over the years. So I'm going to tell it um, kind of like a character to find. And I'm going to tell it to a, tell um, a character to replace it with. So in my case, I want to find the dashes and I want to replace it with nothing. So I want to delete it basically. So to do that, we are going to start a function with the equal sign, put in substitute. And there are three prompts, which we will need to fill out to finish this function. So the first is text. And what that basically is, is what cell do you want the substitute function to run in? So I want it to run in my first phone number. Um, the next prompt is for old text. So this is what you want within the cell replaced. So the old text basically. So I'm going to put quotation marks with the dash inside. And then the next is the new text. So what do you want to replace this text with? And I want to replace it with nothing. So make sure it's just two quotation marks. I close off the function and it should be good. And I can able to drag this down. And there you go. I have my phone number in only 10 straight digits, no dashes, no nothing, no parentheses. And this works multiple times. So anyways, these are two methods to try and get phone numbers into a more workable format for any analysis that you want to do. There are plenty of more, but these are just two to start with to wet your whistle. So anyways, I hope you learned a little bit of something about phone numbers here. My name is Adam. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep on learning Excel. Thanks, and I'll see you later.